السلام علیکم امید ہے آپ خیریت سے ہوں گے بہت بہت شکریہ آپ کے کائنڈ فیڈ بیک کا آپ ایک بار ویڈیو دوبارہ دیکھیں السلام علیکم اینڈ ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو اوور سیریز امیزون پرائیویٹ لیبل ان یو اے ای ان لاسٹ لیکچر وی لرن اباؤٹ دا ٹیکسیشن واٹ از بیڈ ویلیو آر ڈی ٹیکس اینڈ ہو ہیز ٹو پے دا ٹیکس اینڈ ہو آر ایگزامشن اور ہیز اے سلیب ٹو مینٹین ٹو رجسٹر ان دا ویٹ Today, I assume that you already have signed up your Amazon account. You already have hunted a profitable product. Oh, we can say less competition and high demand product. And today we will learn how to list that product on Amazon. Now, uh, there will be a question in your mind that, sir, after product hunting, we should go for the sourcing first. Why we are doing product listing? Uh, you can say it's a dummy listing. Actually, it's a real listing, but not an active listing. Why we do listing before sourcing? The reason is when we will list, Amazon will tell us that whether our list or product is complying with the Amazon policy or not. If our list is uh, get suspended or Amazon delete our listing, it means that this product has some issue. So just imagine if you already have uh, invested too much time in the sourcing and you already have ordered the product. And now you are listing, so it's not a right way because your dad money will be wasted. That product will not be eligible for the Amazon. So today we will learn uh, how to list product on the Amazon. UAE, usually the method is almost same whether you are listing in UK, USA or any of the market. First, you have to uh, learn the principles of product listing means what data you need to list a product on the Amazon. So let's go on the board. The first thing. To list product on Amazon, you need images. Images Amazon allow, which I recommend you should have minimum eight or maximum ten images. It can be one, it can be two. Why I say eight to ten so that your product will be more descriptive? Because when you discuss about the e-commerce, people are not touching your product physically or wearing or testing your product physically. So what? Uh, they need to understand about the features of the product uh, the images your images should be so professional that Everyone will see. Oh, it's a very good product. It fulfills my need. That's why I am buying it So this this will be the reason uh, for a buyer to purchase your product. So next step is You should have keywords Keywords are actually the names of your product which customer mostly type while uh, they come to buy on Amazon. So uh, you have a good research while doing product hunting. You should know what are the names of your product. It can be uh, like 50, like 100 or maybe 300. The more research you will do, the more keywords you will find about your product means how many names your product have. And uh, if you succeed to find the right keywords of your product, the chances of your sales are high because when customer will type a name and that also exists in your product list the chances that amazon will show your list to the customer at the time of his searching so the next thing is uh, you need upc it can be gtin or many other names in different areas depending on the region uh, mostly it's known as upc or gtin what is upc upc means universal product code people also says that it's unique product code so whatever these are all product identification number means your product will be identified through this number next question is sir how to find these numbers now there are two ways because without upc or gtin you are unable to list on amazon so next question is from where we can get upc or gtin there are two ways the first way is you buy from a website which is an authentic one which does not sell that duplicate or replica of the upc because these are the numbers which should be 
unique otherwise anyone can come and claim that this listing is mine why you are using my upc code so it's my asset so your all asset will be uh, represented through this number and it will be unique by the other sellers means someone has other their number and you have the different one the different upc or gtin which stand for global trade identification number so the first way is you can buy uh, through a website the second way is which in some markets you can do it but for some market it's not applicable anymore and that is called gtin exemption in this method we simply uh, open a case with amazon uh, and tell them that at the time we does not have any upc or gtin but we have a brand and we want to list a product so allow us the exemption amazon say okay fine uh, show me the pictures of your product definitely you already have hunted a product you will just send him the pictures you will tell him your brand name uh, for which you need an exemption if that name is already existed on amazon amazon will not give you or will not approve that name in other way if that name is unique amazon will uh, review that case and in most of the cases they give you the exemption but it's amazon maybe they will not give you exemption for a specific brand name on the other hand which i i'm saying that in some market places amazon is not uh, allowing exemption anymore to anyone to anyone but if you have a brand registry on amazon you can apply for exemption so it is one of the advantage of the brand registry that if you have a brand registry on amazon you can apply simply for the gti exemption you don't need to buy the upc and it's very helpful because in some cases you have to list multiple products in your uh, amazon account so you don't need to buy upc every time listing your product you just need an exemption if you have a brand registry but if you don't have a brand registry then simply go and buy the upc so uh, if you have all these three things you are ready to go to list that product on the amazon at the time of the listing amazon will ask whether you want to list it as a fba means fulfillment by amazon or as a fdm uh, you can leave this step at the time of listing because you have uh, an option to change or switch any time which you can okay but uh, if you are uh, making a shipping plan which we'll discuss in the next video how to bring inventory from supplier to amazon warehouse in that you must be an fba selling list if your list is on fba uh, model then amazon will not allow you to send the inventory for that it's very easy we will discuss in the next lecture i hope now you are clear about uh, you need three main things you need images you need keywords you need upc or gtin to list your product any question you can ask in the comment section for registration in our upcoming batch which is starting from 21st of october 2022 in uae there is a number you can call and register yourself see you guys in dubai take care allah hafiz